Hi guys, I have a reformer video for you today. Um, we're gonna do bilateral and unilateral work and we're gonna alternate from bilateral to unilateral. Uh, we're gonna get started on one red spring, which is one heavy spring on your reformers. Foot bars are gonna go all the way down. And then before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super things. You can join my membership on my page just to support my channel. Thanks guys. All right, let's go ahead, lie ourselves down onto our reformers to begin. And then when we lie down, headrest can be up or down, that's up to you guys. We're gonna reach behind us and grab our short loops into our hands. And then when I grab my short loops into my hands, I'm gonna come into my neutral spine. Arms are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling. Knees are gonna come up into our tabletop position. Legs are gonna be zipped together. And this is gonna feel light to start. Again, we're gonna alternate bilateral to unilateral. On our exhale, we're gonna pull our arms straight down towards our hips, and then we're gonna inhale, return back up. Again, we're gonna exhale to pull down, and then inhaling as I return. Now, if you guys do want this a little heavier for your arms, feel free to reach through your straps, grab onto the knotted part of your ropes, and then I'll just make this a little heavier. I'm gonna hold onto my ropes today rather than my straps. We're exhaling to pull straight down and then inhaling as a return. Again, neutral spine. Every exhale, I wanna think I'm drawing my abdominals in and up my spine towards my solar plexus. Exhale to pull down, and then inhale, return. Now, the next time we come down, let's pause. We're gonna bend our elbows for our tricep press. Let's exhale to press down, inhale to bend, exhale press, and then inhaling as we bend. Think drawing the abdominals in and up on our exhales. Feeling those triceps activate. We're gonna do a few more here. And then two. All right, last one. Hold our arms all the way down at our hips. We're gonna open our arms out to the sides of the room, reach them straight up to the ceiling and then pull down to our hips for our circle. So we're gonna open out to the sides, up to the ceiling and then exhaling as we pull down to our hips for our arm circles. Again, you guys can hold on to your short loops or you can hold on to the ropes like me to make it a little heavier today. All right, now the next time we press to the hips, let's hold at the hips and then we're gonna reverse those circles. So we're gonna go up to the shoulders, out to our T and we're gonna exhale, press to the hips. So we inhale, go up, open, exhaling as we press. Movement comes right from the shoulders. Arms are really just along for the ride. So they're following the movement of the shoulders here. Up, open, and then exhaling again as we press. We're gonna go for two, and then last one. All right, now once we come up, you guys can relax your feet back down on front of you. If you wanna give yourselves a little stretch, you can. We're gonna move into some abdominal work. I'm gonna stay holding on to my ropes. Again, short loops if you guys want to. Arms are gonna go straight up to the ceiling. Knees are up into our tabletop position. Legs are zipped together. Let's exhale, press the arms down, nod the chin to the chest, curl right up into our abdominal curls. And then on our inhale, we're gonna return back down with control. So again, on my exhale, I'm gonna nod and curl up. And then inhaling as we return back down. Think, as always, that curl just comes right from the bra line. We exhale, nod, curl. And then inhaling as we return back down. Let's go for a few more here. Exhale, press, curl. Inhale, return, and then last one like that. All right, now once we come down, let's pause. We're gonna add in leg extensions with these. So the next time I press my arms down, I'm gonna nod, curl, extend my legs out to a challenging level, and then inhale, return back down with control. Exhale, press, curl, and extend. Inhale, return, I'm drawing my abs in and up as I reach my legs out. Press, curl, extend. Inhale, return. We're gonna go for two. And then last one. All right, now once we come down, relax the head, the feet. Feel free to give yourself a little bit of a stretch. You can sway your knees, hug them, stretch them. We're gonna do one more thing with our abs and we're gonna move into unilateral work after that. So arms are gonna reach right back up to the ceiling. Knees are up into our tabletop position again. One curl, so let's exhale, press, curl up, pause. Inhale, reach both legs out to a challenging level and then exhale, pull both legs back in. Inhale, reach the legs out and then exhale, pull back in. I wanna think I'm drawing my abs in 
and up my spine towards my solar plexus as I bring them back in. We're gonna go for three, two, and then last one. When we come in, arms up, head down, relax the feet, and then I'm gonna hang up just my left strap. All right, now once you guys hang that left strap up, grab your right short loop into your hand. If you need to make this lighter for your arm, feel free to use the long loop instead of the short loop. Right arm is gonna be up to the ceiling, left arm's at your side. Knees are up into your tabletop position. We're doing those same moves, but with just your right arm. So we're gonna exhale, pull the right arm straight down. Inhale to return back up. Exhaling as we pull down. Inhaling as we return, we should feel that lat engage as we press. Again, if that is too heavy, use the long loop instead of the short. And then if you guys do need a little extra stability of your torso, you can hang on to your shoulder block with your left hand and that will help to stabilize you a little more. All right, the next time we press our right arm down, hold, bend your elbow for your tricep press. We exhale to press down, inhale to bend, exhale press, and then inhaling as we bend. Elbow can either hover off the carriage, which is gonna be a little more challenging for your triceps, or can rest down in the carriage, which will be a little easier now. The next time we press down, pause. I'm gonna hold on to my shoulder block for this one. We're gonna open our arm out to the side of the room, reach it up to the ceiling, and then pull down to our hip for our circle. So we're going out, up, and then exhaling as we pull down to our hips for our arm circles. Now the next time we bring it to the hip, pause, reverse, let's go up to the shoulder, out to the side, and then exhale, press it to the hip, up, open, exhale, press. Again, if you guys need a little more stability in your torso, hang on to your shoulder block with your left hand, that'll help stabilize you a little more. We're gonna go for two, and then last one. All right, now once we come up, we can relax the feet. My left arm is gonna go nice and long at my side. I'm gonna reach my right arm straight back up to the ceiling. Again, neutral spine, knees are gonna come up into a tabletop position. I'm gonna keep my left hand down, and then on my exhale, I'm gonna press into my right palm, curl up into my abdominal curl, and then inhale, return. Exhale, press and curl, inhale, return. Again, if you guys need to make that a little lighter, a little easier, go ahead and use the long loop. Curl comes right from the bra line. Again, my left hand is still down, just kind of helping to stabilize me when I come up. And then the next time I come down, we're gonna pause down, adding in single leg extension. So when we press curl, we're gonna reach our right leg out away from us. We're gonna inhale, return. Exhale, press, curl, extend the right leg. And then inhale, return. I wanna feel my obliques engage as I extend. We'll go for two more. Exhale, curl, reach, inhale back, and then last one. All right, then once we come back, relax the feet. Feel free to give yourself a little stretch. One more thing on this right side, and then we'll go to the left. So right arm can reach back up. Knees are up into our tabletop position. We're gonna do one curl, so on our exhale, let's press curl up, we're gonna pause. Inhale, reach the right leg out. Exhale, pull in, inhale out. Exhale in, think reach through both fingers. Try to keep your chest nice and still. Engage your right obliques on your exhale when you pull that leg back in. Neutral spine the entire time. We're gonna go for two. And then last one. When we come in, arm up, head down. Relax the feet and we're gonna hang our right strap up. All right, same thing on the left side. Short loop, long loops, it's up to you guys. Short loop's gonna be a little heavier for that left arm. Arm is straight up, right arm is at your side. Knees are up into my tabletop position. I'm in my neutral spine. And then on an exhale, we're just gonna pull our left arm straight down. Inhale to return back up. Exhale to pull. And then inhale, return. Again, if you guys want a little extra stability in your torso, you can hang on to the shoulder block with your right hand. And that'll just give you a little more stability. Otherwise, you can just keep your right arm at your side personal preference here. We have two more, I think draw those abs in and up on that exhale, 
And then on this last one, we're gonna hold down, bend our elbow for our tricep press. We exhale to press down, we inhale to bend, we exhale to press, and then we inhale bend. Think drawing the abs in and up as we press. Exhale, inhale. Three more. Again, elbows either hovering or resting down. And then the next time we press our palm down, we're gonna hold it there. We're opening our left arm out to the side. We're bringing it up to the ceiling and then we're pulling down to our hips for our circle. So we go out, up, and then exhaling as we pull back down to our hips for our circles, thinking drawing the abs in and up as we press. Then the next time we bring it to the hip, pause, reverse, we go up to the shoulder, out to the side, and then we exhale, press it to the hip. Inhale up, open, exhaling as we press. A little more challenging in that direction. Again, if you guys wanna change to your long loop to make it a little easier, you can hang on to your shoulder block with your right hand for a little extra stability. The next time we come up, We'll pause at the top, relax the feet, and then we can just give ourselves a little stretch. We're moving into our core work on the left side. So the left arm can go right back up to the ceiling. Our knees can go up into our tabletop position, legs are zipped together. Right arm is gonna stay at my side. On your exhale, you guys are gonna press into your left palm, nod and curl yourselves up into your abdominal curls, and then inhale, return. Exhale, nod, curl and then inhaling as I return. Now I'm trying to stabilize from my core as much as I can, so I'm not getting tossed around a ton on my reformer for these unilateral curls. Exhale as we nod and curl. Inhale as we return. This is gonna be the last one like that. Press, curl, return. Now we add in that left leg, so the next time we curl up, we're gonna reach the left leg out. Inhale, back down. Exhale, press, curl, extend that left leg. Inhale, return. Again, I'm thinking engaging my obliques on the way out. Right arm stays at my side. It does kind of help stabilize me here. We're gonna go for two more. And then last one. All right, then once we come down, we can relax the feet. Feel free to give ourselves a little stretch. And then last thing here for your abs, arm is gonna reach back up, knees come up into our tabletop position. We're gonna do one curl, so let's press, curl up, pause. Inhale, reach the left leg out. Exhale, pull in, inhale away. Exhale back in again, think reaching through both fingers, try to keep everything still, but the left leg extending. And then the obliques pull that left leg back in for three two, one. When we come in, arm up, head down, relax feet. Now, keep your left strap. We're gonna grab your right strap as well. And then we're gonna go long loops onto our feet for some feet and straps. It is going to be light for feet and straps today. I want it to be light to work our core a little more. Legs are up just as high as we can hold our neutral spines. And then on our exhale, let's lower the legs down towards our springs. Bra line should be staying heavy. And then we're gonna inhale, hinge to come back up. Again, exhale, lower the legs down, and then inhale, hinge. We're drawing our abdominals in and up as we lower, and then inhale back up. Exhale to pull down. Inhale, hinge again, thinking more of a core exercise than a leg exercise with these light springs today. So scoop into those little abs as we lower, and then inhale back up. Let's do two more. And then last one, exhale down, and then inhale up. Now when we come up, Pilates stance, so heels are together, toes are turned apart. Lower the legs down to a little lower than a 45 degree angle. Then on our inhale, we're gonna bend both knees in for our frogs. Exhale, stretch the legs out. Inhale, bend, not collapsing into our low backs. And then we're exhaling to push back out. Again, I'm thinking a nice neutral spine the entire time. My bra line is staying heavy down into the mat. Inhale, bend and exhale, drawing those abs in and up as we push away. Two more. 
Then the next time we stretch our legs out, hold, bring the feet parallel. We're gonna lower the legs a little further down towards our springs. We'll open them wide out to the side, circle around and back up for leg circles. So we exhale to lower, we inhale to circle around and back up, going down, around and up. My sacrum again stays nice and heavy, pelvis stays still. The next time we come up, we'll pause, reverse, open the legs wide, press them down and around, zip them together and then we're hinging at the hips to come back up. Two more. And then last one. All right, now once we come up, pause, take your left strap off. You guys are gonna hang it back up onto the peg. The right leg is going to stay straight up to the ceiling. Left knee goes up into your tabletop position. Neutral spine still. I'm gonna exhale, pull my right leg straight down towards my springs and then inhale, hinge, come back up. We're exhaling to pull down, and then inhaling as we hinge. Engaging our core on that exhale. Two more. And then last one, lower, and then lift. Now, when we come up, both legs come up, come into your plotty stance, so heels are together, toes are turned apart. Lower both legs down to a little lower than a 45 degree angle. Then I'm gonna bend both knees in, my left leg stays where it's at, I'm gonna exhale, press my right leg out, inhale back, exhale, press, inhale back. My left knee and foot are still in a little external rotation, but I'm just pressing and bending with my right knee. Exhale out and then inhale back, trying to maintain that nice, steady pelvis. We'll do three, two, and then on this last one, hold out, bring both legs parallel. We're gonna lower the right leg a little further down. We're opening it slightly out to the side to circle around and back up. So we go straight down with the leg. We open it slightly out to the side to circle around and back up. I'm keeping my pelvis still the entire time. That movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. My left hip stays anchored. Now, the next time I come up, I'll pause, reverse. So we open out, we press the leg down and around, we hinge, come back up. If you guys wanna hold on to your shoulder blocks for a little extra stability, you can. This direction should be a little more challenging than the last. We'll go for two. And then last one. All right, when we come up, pause, take that right strap off, hang it up, grab your left loop, and then same thing on the left side. We're gonna go strap on your foot, leg is straight up to the ceiling, right knee tabletop position this time on our exhale. We're pulling our left leg straight down and then we're inhaling, hinging to come back up. Again, I wanna think I'm engaging my core on my exhale when I lower, and then inhaling back up. Exhale to pull down and inhale hinge. We'll do three, two, and then last one. All right, now once we come up, both legs go up, Pilates stance, heels are together, toes are turned apart. Both legs are gonna lower down to a little lower than a 45. We'll bend both knees in, my right leg stays now, and then just my left leg is gonna go out and in for some single leg frogs. Again, exhale to push, and then inhale back in. Again, my focus is that my pelvis is staying nice and still the entire time. Two, and then last one. Now when I press out, both legs are going parallel. I'm gonna lower that left leg down a little more, open it slightly out to the side to circle that leg around and back up for some single leg circles. Again, that focus is your pelvis staying still when that leg opens to circle around and back up. So keep that right side of your hip anchored down. You guys can always hold on to your shoulder blocks again for a little extra stability. The next time our leg comes up, pause, reverse. So we go out, down, around, and then hinge, out, down, around, and hinge. Two more. And then last one. 
All right, now once we come up, we're gonna pause, take that strap off your foot, hang it back up onto the peg, and then we're gonna sit off to the sides of our reformers. Okay, so when we sit off to the sides, we're gonna stay on this single red spring. We're gonna kneel on our reformers facing the straps. When you guys kneel, if you need to sit on your butts for your knee sake or balance sake, you can always sit onto your butts for knees or balance. You're gonna grab your straps into your hands, Long loops are lighter, short loops are heavier. If you want it even heavier than that, grab a hold of your ropes. I'm gonna grab a hold of my ropes today. Arms are gonna be nice and long. Palms are, if you're grabbing onto the ropes, you guys, palms are facing each other. If you're grabbing onto your straps, your palms should be facing back behind you. We're gonna exhale, press our palms back behind us. Inhale to return, exhale to press. And then inhaling as we return, I wanna think I'm stabilizing from my legs, my glutes, and my core for this little chest expansion. We're gonna go for three, two, and then last one. All right, now once we come back, pause, bend the elbows into your sides. We're gonna do some tricep kickbacks. We're gonna press our palms back and then just bend the elbows, press, and bend. So the elbows stay right into your ribs. You're extending, bending, extend, bend again for some tricep kickbacks. We have three, two, and one. All right, last thing, reach your arms out, bicep curls. We're gonna exhale to curl in, inhale to extend, exhale, curl, inhale, extend. Again, stabilizing from your legs, your glutes, and your core. Again, if you guys do not feel comfortable on your knees, sit on your butts. If you don't feel comfortable balancing, sit on your booties. We have three more bicep curls. Two and one. Okay, now when we come back, we're gonna hang up just our left strap. I'm gonna put my headrest all the way down because I did have it up, and then we're gonna scoot our knees just a little further back. Now, the left foot goes into our headrest. I'm setting up with my left knee over my ankle, my right hip over my knee, long loop, short loop, whichever you guys wanna use, long loop, lighter, short loop, heavier, I'm gonna go with my short. Left arm can be at your side, your right arm is long, your palm is facing back, on your exhale, we're gonna press our palm back, inhale, return, press, return. So those same three movements, but unilateral. Press, return, exhale, press, inhale, return. I'm thinking my shoulders are staying parallel to the wall in front of me, so when I come back, my right shoulder doesn't get pulled forward. Hips, shoulders parallel. Last one. All right, then tricep extension. So press your palm back, hold, bend your elbow, press, bend, press. The elbow stays right into the ribs. We're inhaling to bend and we're exhaling to press that pull back. For some tricep extensions, we'll go three, two, and one. All right, now reach your arm out, flip your palm up to the ceiling. Last thing, bicep curls. We exhale to curl in. Inhale, extend, exhale to curl. Inhale, extend, I'm finding stability again in my legs, my glutes, and my core. Long loop, short loop, 100% up to you guys here. We're gonna go for three more bicep curls. Two and one. Okay, so we're gonna hang our right strap up now. We're gonna set our left knee down. Our right foot goes into the headrest. We're grabbing our left strap this time. Again, long loop, short loop up to you guys. Left arm is gonna be long, palm is facing back. We're gonna exhale, press our palm back. Inhale to return, exhale, press. Inhale, return, working into those posterior muscles. So the back side of the body, again, we are stabilizing from our legs our glutes, and our core. We're gonna go for three, two, and one. All right, now once we return, pause, press back one time, hold, just bend your elbow, press, bend the elbow, press for some little tricep extensions. Range of motion might feel pretty small for these ones, but they should be pretty mighty for that small movement. Three, two, one. All right, 
reach your arm out, flip your palm up to the ceiling, last thing, bicep curls, we curl and extend, curl and extend. Again, we should feel that stability, you guys, in your right leg, our glutes are helping, our core is working to stabilize us, and then bicep curls with our left arm. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right, now once we extend, pause, we're gonna hang that strap up, and then you guys can just sit off to the side. Okay, when we come to the side, we're gonna go two outside red springs or two heavy springs. I'm gonna take off the other heavy, so two heavies or two reds. Foot bars are gonna go up to the starting position, and then this is gonna feel pretty heavy for some squats. I'm gonna grab my shoulder blocks into my hands. I'm gonna hold onto my shoulder blocks for a little support here. I'm going to take my right foot onto the foot bar. You guys can go toes, arches, or heels, and I'm gonna press my right leg out, hold, left foot on, hold, squats, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. We're inhaling to bend, exhaling to stretch. If that's too heavy for you guys, go red, blue, or heavy, medium. Inhale, bend, and exhale, push. Three, two, nice big squat, last one. And then come down one foot and the other foot. Okay, single leg squats next. They're gonna be a little different. Hands are on the outsides of our headrest. Our right foot is on the foot bar. You guys can go toes, balls of your feet, arches or heels, whatever you feel more comfortable with. I'm gonna stay on my toes today. We're gonna to have shoulders over hands, hips right over knees. And then on our exhale, the left knee stays down. We press out with the right leg. We bend, we press, we bend. Things squeeze your glute as you press away. Eyes are looking down to the floor, lengthening out through the crown of our head. We'll do a few more on this side. Three, two, and one. All right, now once we come in, pause. Set the right knee down. Left foot goes onto the foot bar. Same thing, we're gonna exhale, push out. Inhale back, exhale out. Inhale back, things squeeze your butt as you guys press out so you can get right into your glute max, right where your butt connects your leg. Four, two, and one. All right, then once we come in, pause, set your knee down, sit off to the side, and then change to one blue spring, one medium spring. Okay, when we get onto that one blue, one medium, we're kneeling on our reformers, facing our foot bars, Feet can be up against the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna reach behind me, grab my straps into my hands, back into bilateral work. Long loops, you guys are lighter. Short loops are heavier for your arms. We're gonna come kneeling nice and tall. Now, same thing as before. If balance, you guys, does not work, if your knees don't work, sit on your butt so you can always sit on a box. Elbows are gonna be bent in your sides. Palms are flipped up. We're gonna exhale, reach our arms out. Inhale, bend. Exhale to reach, inhale back. Shoulders are staying down out of the ears. Collarbones are staying nice and wide. We're going out for three, two, and one. All right, now we add in. We're gonna reach the arms back out. We open them out to the sides. We close, we bend to come back in. So my arms reach, they open out to the sides. They don't go past my body. My hands come back together, shoulder distance, and I bend to come back in. Out, open, close, and then return. Exhale out, inhale open, exhale close, inhale back for two. And then on our last one, we have to hold out away from us. Rotate your palms towards each other. Nice little bend to your elbows, hug your tree, lasting, inhale open. Exhale, close, inhale, open. Exhale, close for four. Shoulders down, collarbones wide. Three, two, and one. All right, relax your arms. 
sit your butts back, hang up just your left strap. If this next set, you guys, you already know it's gonna be too heavy for your arms, feel free to go to the lightest spring. I am staying on my blue, I'm keeping my right loop. Now, this time I'm gonna take my left hand onto my foot bar, I'm gonna scoot my right knee back so my foot is through my headrest, and then my left foot is going to go down onto the carriage. Kneeling nice and tall, both elbows bent at your sides. We're gonna exhale, reach the right arm away, inhale back, exhale, reach, inhale back. If you do wanna bring your left hand at your thigh, or your hip, you guys can go ahead and do so. This is gonna be the last one, out and in. All right, now we're pausing. We're gonna open and close that arm. So we reach out, we open out to the side, we bring it back, we come back in, we're stabilizing from our core so that our torso doesn't move. We're gonna do two, open, close. Range of motion might be a little smaller for these. Last one, out, open, close, return. All right, last thing, hug a tree. I'm gonna use both arms just to make it a little easier. So both arms open wide, nice little bend to the elbows. Exhale, fingertips together. Inhale, open, exhale, close, inhale, return for two and one. Woo, all right, relax. Hang that strap onto the peg, you guys. We're gonna set the left knee down. You can grab your left strap. Feel free to hang onto your foot bar. Right foot goes onto your carriage. And then again, I am using my long loop for this to make it a little nicer. Right hand can be wherever you feel comfortable. Left elbow bent at your side. We're exhaling to reach the left arm out. Inhaling back. Exhale out. Inhale back. Reach and bring it back in for two more. And then last one. All right, now when I come back, we're gonna pause. Again, range of motion might be a little smaller for these. We're gonna reach out, open out to the side close, come back in three more, exhale out, inhale open, exhale close, inhale return, try to keep your hips, your shoulders parallel to the wallet in front of you, last one, left arm is a little heavier for me, all right, come back, relax, last thing, hug a tree four times, open your arms wide, ready, exhale, fingertips together, Inhale, open, close, and open. Shoulders should be down, collarbone should be nice and wide. Last one. <sighs> Whew, relax. Okay, hang that strap up. Hands on the foot bar, stand on your carriage. We're gonna do planks and then side planks for our unilateral, bilateral work. You guys can have your feet either center of your carriage, which will make this a lot easier, or you can have your feet back to the shoulder blocks, which will make this a little more challenging. And my heels are just gonna stay down to start. I'm gonna have my thumbs with my fingers, shift the weight forward, shoulders over the hands, the legs are gonna push the carriage out, the heels will lift now, and then we're gonna push out with our arms, pull in, inhale out, exhale in. Again, if you guys have your feet a little further forward, that does make this a little easier. We're gonna go for two and one. All right, when we come in, lift the hips, bring the carriage all the way in. I'm gonna step my feet just a little further forward so they're about center. My left hand goes to the center of the foot bar. I'm gonna rotate my toes to the right side of the room. We're going into obliques. My shoulders this time are not over my hands. On an inhale, the legs are gonna press out, the hips are gonna rotate and open to the right, and then I'm gonna tuck my pelvis, rotate my hips to the floor. Now when I press out, most of the weight is in the left hand, and then I'm gonna tuck, rotate to come back in. So I want your hips to rotate to the lat, right, and then rotate to the floor as you come in. So rotate to the right with those hips, bring them to the floor as you come in. Last one, inhale out. Exhale in. All right, bring your toes center. Left hand to the left side. Right hand to the center. Rotate your toes to the left. Ready? Inhale, press out. Rotate the hips to the left. Tuck. Rotate them to the floor as we come in. Inhale out. Exhale right back in. We want those right 
oblique sapphire when we pull in. We have three, two, and then last one. All right, now once we come in, toes back center, step off to the side, and we're finishing with three red springs or three heavy springs. I'm taking off my blue, my BDM. Lie yourselves down onto reformers. Headrest can be up or down. Up to you guys. We're gonna finish off with some footwork. So heels are on the foot bar, parallel with each other, so it's one distance away. Again, we're starting with bilateral and then we're moving to unilateral. So we're gonna inhale to push out with both legs. Exhale to pull in, push and pull out. And exhale and engaging our core to pull us back in. Three, two, and one. All right, now once we come back in, arches of our feet are on. Let's inhale out, exhale back, inhale out, exhale back. Again, I'm drawing my abs in and up on my exhale. Push, pull, push, pull for three, two, and one. All right, then once we come in, pause, toes, balls of our feet are on. All 10 toes are on the foot bar. We're inhaling to lengthen out, exhaling to come back, push out, pull in. I'm lifting up with my heel too today, so I have a nice high heel out and in, and I'm evenly weighted throughout all 10 toes. My sacrum stays heavy, my pelvis is still, pushing out for three, two, and one. All right, now once we come in, bring the heels back onto the foot bar. The right heel stays on, left knee goes up into our tabletop position, unilateral work. We're gonna inhale, push, exhale back, push, and pull. Again, the focus is that pelvis staying nice and still, especially for this unilateral work. Three more, really feel that quad working. Two and one. All right, now once we come in, pause. Arch of your right foot is on, left knee still up into your tabletop. We're gonna push out with the right leg, pull in, push out, and pull in. Lengthen and pull out. And in we have three, two, and one. Woo! All right, when we come in, right toes, balls of our feet are on. Last thing, lift your heel. We're gonna push out, pull in with that high heel. Evenly weighted, you guys, throw all five of those right toes. Feel a nice burn of that leg. Four more. Two, woo, and one. Ah, all right, shake out that leg if you guys need to. We're switching to the left foot. So heel is on, right knees up into our tabletop position. We're gonna inhale to push out, exhale to come in, inhale out, and then exhale back again. Trying to keep my pelvis nice and still. Imagine that if you guys are lying down in some clay, everything just stays nice and heavy in that clay. You are molded to your carriage. Two and one. All right, and then once we come in, arch of our left foot can go on. We're gonna push back out, pull in, push out, and pull in. Two more on this arch. And then last one. All right, last and the worst. Toes, balls of your feet go on. Nice little lift of that heel. We're gonna inhale to push out. Exhale back in, inhale away, exhale back. I'm keeping that left heel lifted up nice and high. I'm really feeling that left leg working, evenly weighted throughout the toes, so no pronation or supination of that foot. Three more, two, 
and one. Whew. Okay, when we come in, pause. We're gonna sit off to the left side of our reformers. We're gonna go to one heavy spring and we're just gonna finish off with a lunge. So right foot is back, left foot is on the floor. We're gonna press back with our right leg, press back with our left. Chest can drop down if you guys want it to. Just open up, breathe. Try to stretch out the front of the right leg, back of the left. If you guys are flexible, you can always hold down onto the carriage. All right, bring it back in. Same thing on the other side. We're taking our left foot back, right foot on the floor. We're gonna press back with the left, press back with the right, hold, breathe, stretch. All right, then you guys can bring your carriage back in. You can stand off to the side. You guys are all finished. I hope you enjoyed that bilateral unilateral workout today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me those super thanks. Join my channel. Thanks, guys.